Hi eLeapers, this is Adriana, your librarian. In this video I'm going to show you how to use Google Scholar. Um, you may not have heard of it, but it's really, really pretty cool. Um, you're all familiar with Google, I assume, and you know Google searches oh, pretty much all of the open web, right? Google Scholar is a little bit different, so you can Google Google Scholar or you can type scholar.google Dot com and there you have it. Um, so rather than searching the whole open web, this website search engine I want to say um, searches just uh, an academic body of literature. So just scholarly publications, which as university students I hope you are interested in. Um, anyway, you'll notice under the search box here you can kind of restrict what you're searching, just articles. You can include patents if you'd like. And for your research project, may not be a bad idea, um, versus legal opinions and journals. Um, anyway, I'm going to do a really basic search. Uh, first, though, let's set the scholar preferences. This is actually a nice feature. So under scholar preferences, go to the section called library links and type in University of Utah and you'll get this list of options here. You, you can keep open world cap, you don't have to. Um, do click on the University of Utah get it at U of U button and then at either the bottom here or up at the top click the save preferences button then go about searching Google Scholar the same way that you would search Google. So I'm going to type in whoops, electric cars Nissan. See what kind of results we get. Um, right off the bat, this is kind of a funny thing to point out, but check this out. Google Scholar, you get 8,060 results. That's a lot of results, right? However, compare that to Google doing the same search. Electric cars Nissan and you get Wow, a whopping 17,800,000 results. 8,000 seems a lot less daunting. And it is because we know that none of these results are commercial, none of them are propagandist, nothing like that. They are scholarly publications. That's where all of these results are generated from. Um, anyway, notice in the right hand margin here, lots of PDF links two articles which is really cool because sometimes these links don't take you to full text but the nice thing about Google Scholar is that like seriously 90% of the time they do so if I click on this link ta-da check it out the full text of the article digitized page numbers included how great is that if I click on any of these links bam I've got, well here's a little abstract, but up at the top you just have to look for the PDF button. Whoops, and that is, there's a PDF. So any of these links will usually take you right to the source, which is very cool. If they don't, however, this link will. So here's the very same article, not from the open web, coming from the U of U instead. So if this link doesn't work for you, this one should. Either way, that's a whole lot of full text, right? Um, that's really about it for Google Scholar. The number of results, 8,060, that's kind of high. I'll show you in class or maybe via video um, how to reduce the number of results to a, a manageable number where you're willing to look at every single title in the list. 8,000 is pretty heavy though. Um, but yeah, that's it for Google Scholar. Let me know if you have questions, um, comments, anything. I think it's really awesome if you want to join me in that. Thank you.